Hi guys and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. Uh, after the relative success of the last one, uh, you guys really seem to enjoy the transport hub um, tutorial which we did last week. You can find that on the channel. There's only a couple of videos ago so you'll be able to find it really easily. Uh, today we're going to be covering how you can do uh, kind of a low key downtown, so not your traditional um, city skyscraper kind of setup that you would usually do. This is more of a town centre. Um, if you're looking maybe, you know, in kind of your, your lower density residential areas, if you're looking for something uh, that has a little bit more kind of personality to it, but can still handle uh, large amounts of people coming into it, this is your kind of traditional uh, town centre layout. Uh, so this is the town centre that we use in Fremwood, and this is what we're going to be covering how to build today. We're going to get all your measurements and where you can place different things. Uh, and you can see here in Fremwood we have tram lines coming in here as well through a little park area. Uh, this is looking pretty sweet now, and we've got metros as well, which is getting a lot of use. Let's have a little look how much we do have used here, actually. Um, if I can click on the metro. 825 a week. Uh, the bus lines here are really busy. Tram lines are busy. You know, everything's working well. Uh, traffic through the centre uh, is flowing really clearly. Uh, so without further ado, uh, we're going to dive into this, and uh, we'll, we'll start building this, and you guys can hopefully replicate this in your cities too. Okay guys, so welcome back to Tutorial Dale. Uh, this is where we built our uh, transport hub last episode. Uh, so we're going to carry on building on this map and we'll hopefully uh, be able to kind of turn this into a little mini tutorial city. It won't be a let's play, but you know, we can keep adding to this as we do these videos. Uh, so to start off, we're going to be using uh, the, um, the medium roads and we're going to kick off with a four lane road with bus lanes. Uh, so the way I started this was, let's just drag it out here uh, and then you're going to go out for about... 1260. We'll make it a nice round 1200. Then you guys can kind of do with that as you please. Uh, so you want to kind of feed all your bus routes down this road. Uh, kind of connect them up wherever you want to. Uh, but the way my city fell, it was just convenient to have a bus lane down here. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on the crossroads, which will join into this point here. And then we're going to drag a tree road out to about 1600. Uh, so that's just a little bit further down there. 1620. So that's what it should have so far. Now, the way that my uh, kind of low key downtown connects into <coughs> my highway to bring all the traffic into the town is I use a six lane road. It's up to you whether you want to use the kind of standard one or you can use some of the decoration ones. Uh, maybe the ones with bicycle lanes if you want to introduce some cyclists in. Or if you do have a lot of bus lane activity, uh, you can also have the six lane road with bus. But because this connects to my highway, um, I don't have many buses that actually run along the highway, so I don't really use them. So I come out by um, 1170, or 1170 rather. <laughs> uh, so that's what you will do there. So you should have something that looks like this right now. Uh, and then we're going to hit back to our medium roads, and I'm going to grab um, a road with a grass reservation through the middle. And then I'm going to bring this down by 1400, so that's just out to that second marker. So now you've got kind of a lot of different looking roads, looks really nice, it kind of breaks up the monotony of just boring grey roads if you find yourself kind of stuck within that rhythm. Uh, then next of all we're going to go ahead into our decoration stuff and we're going to grab um, a plaza. So it's up to you which one you use, so you can even go for the basketball court if you like or use one of the standard parks, just want to make sure you don't use something too big because uh, it's going to kind of take away from uh, the general aesthetic of our kind of low-key downtown. So the plaza is going to sit right on the corner of the street there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the other side of the road. We're going to grab our police station. And then we're going to put this out on the main road as well. Make sure it's facing the main road so the police can have easy access onto the highway should you choose to link it onto there. And then a well into different parts of the city too. And then what I did behind the police station is I grabbed a little park. I'm just going to put this on pause here for a moment. Um, so let's go ahead and grab in the park stuff uh, and then I want the large playground and I'm just going to pop this behind the police station here and we're going to link that up to the main road in a moment as well. Uh, and then just behind this plaza we're going to go ahead and grab a smaller road again. It's up to you which one you use. You use the two lane um, or the cycle lane, one with bicycle stuff or trees or you don't. You just want to use one of the two way ones. Don't use the, uh, the one way. Uh, and then we're just going to bring this up to this point here so the road hugs. Uh, the back of this plaza uh, that we've just placed here and then again you can place in another attraction here I went for the botanical gardens which looked quite nice <clears throat> sorry guys I had to clear my throat 
Uh, Biotanical Gardens works really well. And it's all about bringing people to this area. So you want to place stuff that's going to attract them in. Um, and not just kind of generic, you know, uninteresting buildings that people aren't going to want to come to the downtown to use. Uh, and then along here, this won't build now because we have no demand. Um, I actually just placed some commercial. So I'll find that the bigger blocks are better. You can go for these kind of big 4 by 4 ones if you like. Uh, and then within these two spaces, you can drag in some paths off your park. Uh, and then I, what I did here was I just made a little uh, kind of mini park area, um, expanding these assets. And you can kind of create almost an extension. Uh, if you have been following the uh, Fremwood Let's Play, we do this quite a lot of placing the vanilla assets. Uh, and then flying into some of the landscaping tools and then just kind of... You know, fleshing them out with different trees and kind of different, you know, styles of decorating. So there's a few different things you can do with this. Uh, you know, really just go crazy, have a play, drop some rocks in, some benches if you have the part life expansion. Is uh, There's a few different things you can do with that space over there if you want to. Uh, and then we're going to jump into some public transport stuff. So we're going to have our metro station um, just on the corner here. So you want it two blocks in uh, from your main road here. You don't want it right on the intersection. And then we're going to go into public transport again. And we're going to grab some of our tram stuff. So I use the tram track. Now again, it's up to you what kind of method of public transport you want to use. <clears throat> but this is going to cross the main road. And then we're just going to make a little, um, a little turnaround using one-way tram lines here uh, for our trams. So they can loop back around and then head back throughout your city, wherever they're coming from. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab some more of those lines and then we'll bring this up and again so you can imagine that this point here where we're building now uh, that would go off and bring people into your downtown and drop them off here uh, so we're going to go ahead and just drop in a little tram station somewhere again you guys don't want to build this bit this is purely uh, just so we can have some kind of trams uh, coming and going through this part of town uh, and then I'm going to grab them up here okay so uh, what I then did here was just to link these guys through into town to stop them all coming down this main road uh, you just want to kind of draw in a path here and then I just built a little park around here so you can kind of again you know go crazy with your shapes I think as well we also uh, drew in a little kind of bridge here so you can kind of see how you're just making it easier for people to get around town so it's really kind of interesting to you know, just play with different shapes and other different methods of kind of public transport and getting people around your city so it just stops them from you know clogging up this road uh, and then you want to also kind of just sparingly plop your uh, commercial zones here. So you can just kind of see, you know, don't do big straight blocks like this. Because otherwise it can look nice to have a solid high street and you can do that in places. Um, but if you just leave little one block gaps in between, uh, you can just, I think the dirt roads look nice for the low-key downtown stuff. Uh, you can just kind of have, you know, the little path that flows through there. And then maybe one through here as well. So it's just about getting um, or making your city uh, as walkable as possible for your sims. So have a play with some different shapes and paths. You know, kind of just let them walk around the town without having to follow the street all the way around. Just think, you know, if you were a person here at A, how would you get them over to B? Are they going to cross the street and make the traffic stop? Are they going to do, you know, different kind of things? And then there's also different policies you can do here as well. Um, applying some of the organic and local food produce stuff uh, to the areas here um, is really beneficial um, and it looks a lot nicer as well you know I think it increases land value as well and um, as well as all these parks do increase land value which make your businesses uh, level up faster as well uh, and then the last thing we did with ours was we placed a high school um, further down this road here so we'll just go ahead and uh, and drag this out just a touch more um, so we can have the high school in here um, let's go for the Creative Arts Institute that one looks quite nice I think 
So yeah, so you can see how this fits together. Uh, if you wanted to, if you did actually follow our uh, public transport tutorial uh, on how we built our transport hub so everything interconnects, um, you could even factor in um, your monorail into this part of town as well. So if you wanted to do that, you could just go ahead and upgrade all these guys. And then if you didn't want to use buses, you know, you could have your monorail flowing through this part of town. Uh, and it just looks really cool. Monorail is a little bit high density, but, um, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world to have a little bit of monorail hanging around this part of town. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to jump back into Fremwood now and you guys can see how this thing works in action with the time plane and buildings around. But this should give you a general idea of how you can kind of create a lower key, more town centre as opposed to a downtown area. So hopefully that makes some sense to you guys. I'm going to cut back into Fremwood now and you can see how it works in action. Alright, so here you can see, uh, this is the town centre that was built in action, you can see I had a taxi rank here as well. Uh, our tram lines are thrown through this park area which we've decorated nice with some trees. And then the metro stations are getting a lot of use. We've got some commercial along here as well, uh, with paths connecting them into this kind of wider expanded playground asset that we talked about. And you know, there's biotechnical gardens here as well, plaza, our school is a little bit further down. So you can see how this fits into the wider, kind of lower residential areas of town. Um, and then how I connect it up here. So uh, at this crossroads where we talked about, sorry, the glare from the rain is horrendous right now. Um, so leaving the town here, it joins up to a large roundabout, which also connects onto the other side of the, uh, the town here. And then this leads back onto our highway, which then takes people back into the city. So if people wanted to actually come down just into this part of town, they wouldn't have to trek all the way through. They do have their own highway connection, and there are people using it uh, to come in and out of this side of town. Uh, and then again, I'll just click on some of these transport lines here. So this tram line um, is getting a hell of a lot of usage. You know, So people are coming here to visit the buildings, to visit the parks that we placed. Uh, the metro station is 1,218 per week, which is crazy. And the bus lines, which are, again, really, really busy, um, are also getting a lot of usage. And they are just kind of heading down into different parts of town um, and dropping people in and around. As you see, we're actually a little, little bit low on education right now. So that's something we need to sort out next episode. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to try and keep these fairly short and sweet. But um, again, if you missed, I'll just going to show off this park here as well. Uh, so on the other side of the tram line here, we just have a little bit of a park area which links people into some more kind of lower density stuff. Um, and then a train station as well. It's always nice to have a train station nearby if you can factor that in. Um, yeah, but this is just a little low-key downtown area. If you're stuck for inspiration and you don't want something too major, like kind of, you know, your skyscraper downtown centre in, in like what would be classed as the city centre, um, you would call this essentially uh, a town centre. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, uh, do stick around. This is our vanilla Let's Play series, Friendwood. We're currently on episode 29. And episode 30 will be a city tour, so it's the perfect time to jump in and find out what's been going on in this town. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do like the video and found it useful, a like would be very much appreciated. If you didn't like the video and didn't like this style of video, then please also feel free to leave a dislike as well. But other than that, guys, I hope you found it useful. And as always, please enjoy the rest of your day.